Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Fargo Force Show. I'm Trevor Peterson. Our guest this week is Force goalie Mats Israelson. Mats, thanks for being here this week. Thank you very much for having me. You bet, Mats. You came to the Force last year from Waterloo midway through the season, so this is your second season with the Force. You started 15 games last year, started 11 of 13 games this year. Just tell me about being back in Fargo with the Force for the second year. How much more comfortable is it? How much of a difference has it made being back for year two? Uh, it's very nice to have been around the league a little bit, too know what to expect. Uh, you can mentally go in before games to know where you go and what kind of ranks and what, what the game is like. So I really like it. Now we mentioned that you're from Sweden. So people around here are used to cold weather. You probably are too a little bit. But compare, I guess for us, North Dakota and Sweden. Well, I live uh, very close to the ocean. So as hard it is to believe, it's actually more windy back home than really? it is here. But uh, on the snow side, you're a big plus here. All right. Now, uh, tell me, what you, you grew up, or, or you play hockey, obviously, but what's the most popular sport in Sweden? What did you grow up playing? Uh, I grew up playing a bunch of different sports, but uh, the most popular one is probably soccer, and okay. I, I played for quite a while. And feelings on Swedish meatballs? What do you think? Uh, I'm not actually a huge meatball fan. No. I'll, I'll pass on that, actually. All right. All right. Well, we'll talk much more about Sweden and goaltending with uh, Mats in a minute, but first, the Force played four games since our, our last show. Uh, in the last two weeks. On Halloween, they lost 3 nothing at Dubuque. Uh, then they fell 4-2 to the Fighting Saints the following night in a game in which the Force led 2 nothing after the first period. Then the following weekend, Friday, November 7th, they lost 4-2 at Des Moines. Again, the Force had leads of 1-0 and 2-1 before losing that. And then on Saturday, November 8th, they lost 3-2 to Cedar Rapids in a game that was tied at 2 with under 4 minutes left. Cedar Rapids eked out the 3-2 victory. So, Matt, I summarize, I guess, these last four games. Obviously not what you wanted to get out of this four-game road trip. Maybe the first kind of long bit of adversity for the team this year. Kind of what, uh, what things stood out to you about these last four games? Uh, I was really disappointed about the, about the weekend in Dubuque. I thought that we didn't really put up a fight, and I didn't think we brought our A game to those games. But uh, after this weekend, I'm, I'm actually positive. If we keep playing the way we did this weekend and keep the effort up, we're going to get some wins here pretty soon. I'm, I'm sure about that. Was there one thing that kind of stood out? Did you guys maybe not have the energy you had that, that you wanted to, or maybe the defense wasn't as good? What was one thing that maybe kind of stood out to you uh, that was a theme maybe of all four games? Uh, I don't think we executed. Like, we had opportunities to score goals, and we had opportunities to prevent goals, and I, th I don't think we executed. Mm. Well, let's take a look at now the standings. After the Force's uh, four-game losing streak here, let's take a look at the standings. The Force now right in the middle of the Western Conference standings with a record of six wins, six losses, and one uh, overtime loss for 13 points. Uh, so right in the middle of the standings, a little bit of adversity the Force will have to bounce back from for sure. All right, now back to being a goaltender, Matt. Tell me a little bit about how you kind of got into goaltending. You said you played soccer growing up, but how did you become a goalie? Uh, it's, it's kind of a funny story, actually. I used to be a forward and I loved to score goals and just be the guy that loves to be up front and never even back check. And uh, one, one game we played, uh, our goal was absolutely brutal and nobody else wanted to be in net. So I got the chance and I, I did it pretty good. So here I am. Wow, nice. Now what's, what have you found is the biggest trait or the biggest thing that you need to be a good goalie? I think uh, patience. Like you got to let the pucks come to you mm -hmm. and not chase the puck. Mm. That's, that's my thought about it. How have you improved from last year when you were with the Force even to this year? And, and what things do you still feel like, you know what, i got to get a lot better at this or I want to improve at that? Well, I think the game is a lot faster here. If you don't keep track of pucks, if you don't follow up rebounds, you're going to get give up a lot of goals mm -hmm. here. So I think I've, I've become better at tracking pucks and recover faster, but that's something I need to keep doing keep working on. And as we take a look at some highlights of you from this past season here, tell me a little bit about uh, being in goal. I mean, is it, is it hard sometimes when all of a sudden maybe you could go for minutes on end without getting any action and then you have to be ready in a moment's notice for a, for a breakaway or something like that? Is that one of the tough parts of being a goalie where, where you're not maybe busy all the time and all of a sudden you have maybe two or three save opportunities right away? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, you have to be in the, in the game mentally all the time. So, if you're not in physically, you can get a little bit, little bit uh, off the game, but you really got to be in there mentally all the time. We took a little bit of a video of you in a couple of shootouts there. What's the biggest key in being a, you know, stopping a shootout goalie? What do you, what do you tell yourself? Do you, do you have a, a something that you kind of tell yourself over in your head as, you, as the, they kind of approach you or something that you focus on, especially in shootouts like that? 
the most important thing, I think, is the depth. If you're too far out, he will go, go around you. Mm -hmm. If you're too deep in a net, you will give up too much space for him to shoot at. So the perfect depth is the most important thing, I think. How do you feel like you do in shootouts? Is that something you love the challenge of? Is it something that you kind of get nervous about? How do you how do you feel about shootouts? I actually love it because yeah. like you're you're either gonna be a hero or you're gonna be somebody that you think of lost a game for, for the team. So I just love having the chance of becoming a hero, despite maybe you give up a couple of bad mm -hmm. goals and then you get the chance in the end to be a hero. Well, you guys have done pretty well in shootouts so far this year. So tell me about uh, some of your goals in hockey. What would you like to do uh, after, after your time with the Force? What do you, what do you aspire to do? Uh, I really want to go to college uh, over here. So that's my, my main goal right now, but I try to live in it now and focus what I can affect on my day-to-day -day basis. Thoughts about being doing this kind of for a living somewhere? Is that something that you you think about even, or is that a long way off? Uh, it's it's a goal to make a living out of this. Yes, it is. Well, uh, as we'll have a little fun here now. One of my favorite all-time TV characters just happens to be from your home country, Sweden. You have any idea who that might be at all? Viva Longstrom. Oh, that's that's a good guess. No, actually, he's a Muppet. Does that help you? It's a Muppet. Uh, I have no clue. Let's take a look at that. It would happen to be the one and only Swedish chef. Are you familiar with the Swedish chef, Matt? Uh, no, I'm not. Actually. You are not familiar? Oh, no. Well, this, this segment is going down the tubes here in a hurry. The Swedish chef on The Muppet Show, one of my favorites. Have you ever heard? I, I would do it, but I, I was going to ask you to do a, an uh, imitation of the Swedish chef. Uh, but I guess we'll have, have to leave that for another time. Never heard of him at all, huh? No, but I got to say, he got a nice mustache now when it's Movember and November. And that all. is a nice yeah. mustache. He, he was doing Movember much before uh, it was actually popular. So, well, your assignment then for the rest of the season is to go back and figure out and watch The Swedish Chef. And the next time we have you on the show, we'll get your impressions from uh, one Swede to another, I guess, of what, uh, what do you think of The Swedish Chef? How about, how about that? Uh, I think you got to do my research. I'm not sure he's Swedish, actually. Yeah, he might not be, but he does have a good stash. So, yeah. hey, Matt, thanks for being on the show this week. Thank you very much. That's another edition of the Fargo Four Show. Be sure to uh, check out the Force upcoming schedule here. They host a doubleheader this weekend with the co-leaders of the Western Conference, Sioux City, Friday and Saturday at Shields Arena. 7.05 starts both nights. Go to FargoForce.com for tickets there. And then the following weekend, the Force travels to Chicago, where they'll play uh, a doubleheader against the Steel. Remember, there's free watch parties all season long for the Force on road games at Spicy Pie in West Fargo. That'll do it for this edition of the Fargo Force Show. Thanks for joining us, everybody.